Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphic Card Repairs. So today we have an RTX 2080 Ti Gigabyte and uh, this is the way I received the card. So this is the cooler and uh, this is how I received it. There were no screws and it was uh -huh. not attached. Yes. So the IO plate is bent and uh, that's the capacitor that you see that's knocked off and uh, this is from where the capacitor was knocked off from let's take a look at the resistance and uh, on the 12 volt pcie we don't have any shots 3.3 volts as well there are no shots 8 pin and we have a short circuit here let's take a look at the other one and we don't have any shots on the second one measuring on the inductor there's no short here 5 volts there's no short 3.3 volts no short let's take a look at PEX it's a bit low but it's fine and 1.8 there's no short okay so we don't have any shorts uh, let's take a look at memory the resistance looks okay let's take a look under the microscope so the top side looks okay let's switch to the bottom side and there you go there are some missing components here so i found these resistors that were missing looks like a lot of them and some missing capacitors so it looks like something had uh, knocked this uh, these capacitors and resistors off uh, maybe like something with force so it be really difficult to tell what exactly happened here So all these capacitors are gone. Okay, there's a chip, a power switch with a broken leg. And I can pass the uh, tweezer right through the leg. Okay, another knocked off capacitor. And another power switch with a broken leg. Okay, so let's proceed to replace the uh, components and uh, we'll continue from there.
Okay, so uh, the broken components have been replaced and uh, let's clean the card. So let's brush it off with some isopropyl alcohol just to get rid of the dirt and the flux that are all over the board. So let's inspect it under the microscope now. Everything looks okay, just the way we want it. Okay, so let's take a look at the short. And this is the chip that had a short circuit on the 8-pin. Okay, let's proceed to replace that one. Let's replace this chip. Let's remove this chip. Put a new one in there. But before we do that, let's measure. And our short is gone. So we don't have any shorts right now. Our shorts are gone. Let's proceed to replace a new chip in there. Measuring the 12 volt inductor and we have 12 volts. On the second inductor we have 12 volts again. And on the third one as well. Let's take a look at the 5 volts. We do have 5 volts. Another 12 volt inductor and we do have 12 volts. Same thing here. Let's take a look at the 3.3. We do have 3.3. Let's check pegs. And 1.8. Okay, so let's investigate and find the fault, the cause for the 1.8 being missing. So our PEX is missing because of uh, 1.8 and we also don't have memory and core because we don't have 1.8. So after digging around, this 0 ohm resistor is and the other two are uh, all zero ohm resistors which are responsible for the missing 1.8 so they are supposed to be zero ohm but the resistance on these is in mega ohm so let's go ahead and replace these so i will show you the reading Okay, so the faulty resistors have been replaced. Let's check the 1.8. And we have 1.8. Okay, let's check uh, PEX now. Okay, that's missing. 
Okay, so 1.8 is back, but Apex is missing. Okay, so this is the faulty resistor and a couple of resistors at the side, which are faulty. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and replace this one and uh, we'll test it from there. Okay, so all the input voltages are present, but 12 volts, uh, which is supposed to connect to the chip is still missing. And uh, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump a wire from that uh, resistor to the chip. I'll show it to you now. So I have jumped this wire connecting the resistor and the pin, that's pin numbers uh, eight, 8 and 9, uh, which are supposed to be 12 volts. So this is the jumper wire that I've connected to fix that problem. Let's take a look after fixing the jumper. Yes. So we have our pecs back and uh, I've installed the card on the workbench and uh, let's take a look. Do we have a picture? Yes, the card is booted and we have a picture. So I'm booting into Windows. Now I don't have uh, any cooler that's attached to the card. Uh, I don't have the screws for this card. I don't have any the back plate for this card, nothing. So I'm just going to boot into Windows and try and load uh, the drivers. Let's see if the drivers load. Okay, so I don't have the cooler uh, or any of the screws for, to stress test this card, but uh, this card is uh, fixed. Um, now, if you like this video, please hit the like button uh, and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, this is a shorter version of uh, a longer video. Uh, the, the original video of uh, this repair is about 1 hour and 15 minutes. It's a very long video. Uh, I've tried and shortened it on this particular one. If you would like to watch the complete video of this card uh, being repaired, uh, the link for that video will be in this description. Uh, so please, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. So thank you and have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.